So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number 6 of the QPR career mode and we're going to be kicking off this episode with a home game up at off, uh, Loftus Road up against Leeds United. So Leeds, very difficult side to play against especially when they knocked out the likes of Man United out of the Capital One Cup not so long ago or it might have been the FA Cup, I'm not that sure but they still did knock out a big top flight Premier League side and um, it's going to be very difficult for us to try and get the upper hand up against Leeds but we do, um, or actually Leeds do have the first chance in the game. They do play a lovely ball over the top to Varney. Varney beats uh, Nathan Ake to the ball, or Ake, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. But um, Varney still plays down the wing, plays a lovely ball in the box, and uh, Norris is there to put it into the back of the net. So 17 minutes have gone, and they were now 1-0 up, up against us in the 17th minute. So not the best of starts for us there, and we're going to be looking to get a better start to the next game, or try and start a little bit better and get our momentum going together. Otherwise, we're going to be looking at a, uh, a defeat here up against uh, Leeds at Loftus Road. But we, as you know, will never uh, sit down. And Odd Lucy here, straight from kickoff, runs past McCormack, does very well, plays the ball through to Remy. Remy plays a lovely ball through to Townsend. Townsend goes for one on one with the goalkeeper, has a shot, and very, very unlucky that it comes off the under or comes off the post and it wasn't. It didn't end up in the back of the net, which I was hoping to. But Townsend does make up for that post here. Sprints past everyone, sprints past Leeds, and fires it with his weak foot this time. And this time he does find the back of the net, and it was nowhere near the post. So thankfully, in the 42nd minute, we were back on level terms. Andrew Townsend with a goal, and he nearly shot someone in the crowd. Just joking with the arrow there. And it was a very, very good finish, to be honest. Uh, just showing that Andrew Townsend is capable of doing uh, special things for the club. And hopefully, he can continue to score more goals like that in the up and coming week to come but we do have a very good chance here. Odd Lucy plays the ball to Frowlin. Frowlin just before half time can put us in the lead but a wonderful save from Paddy Kenny I believe is in the Leeds United net uh, which unfortunately for us couldn't get the goal and right at the end of the game Remy has a good chance to finish off the game has a shot but another wonderful save from Paddy Kenny and that was how the game finished unfortunately we do try and get a build another attack Odd Lucy does play a good ball through to Hoylet but unfortunately they do get there just before Hoylet and the uh, final whistle does blow and well not the best result for us, but still coming from 1-0 down. Andrew Townsend, as you see there, does get an 8.5 rating and indeed does get man of the match. He was actually playing in the wrong position during that match. He was playing in midfield, which was a mess up, a uh, mistake by me. Uh, so sorry about that. But uh, it kind of cost me the game. But still, Mo Saraf here, one of our youngsters, 20-year-old striker, comes to us and says... I'd like to have a game I haven't played and I want to have games so I thought okay the next game is in the Capital One Cup it's against Nottingham we're away from home it's the perfect occasion for Mo Sarif to come in and to try and impress me as a manager and Sir Dunby see if we can um put him into the squad so if we could put him into the squad it would be very good but still he's not the best rating he's a 61 rated player but he's not bad up front we decided that he was going to be playing up front with Charlie Austin. Um, Charlie Austin is a very, very good player, but Odalusi has been getting the nod ahead of him, mainly because Odalusi is a lot faster and um, he's better in the air that I find, and Odalusi is scoring more goals whenever he comes on. So that's the reason why I've decided to go with Odalusi and Remy in our starting lineup. But this was our pretty much second lineup. Uh, Gold plays a lovely ball through to Mosharif. Mosharif has a chance to score his first goal for QPR, and he does not fail with a beautiful goal in the 15th minute. Saris does get the goal there in the 15th minute to put us 1 0 up and what a goal it was as well with his left foot I'm not sure whether that's his strongest foot or his weakest foot but whatever it was it was a good finish by our number 34 his first uh, game for us I believe it's his debut playing for the club and it was a very good finish took it onto his left foot and slotted it past the Northampton keeper we do have a very good chance here to make it 2-0 um, Wright Phillips does run down the wing plays a lovely shot but it was a wonderful save from the goalkeeper stretching up high to deny that from going over his head into the roof of the net from the resulting corner we do have a pretty good chance Traore does put a good ball in the box comes to Cardoso Cardoso so doesn't get any contact, comes to Rangold. Rangold was left foot, fires one, but it was a pretty comfortable save for Duke in the Northampton net. But here, our best chance so far of the game to put us 2 0 up. Mark, Matt Phillips runs down the wing, plays a lovely ball through to Charlie Austin. Charlie Austin should score, but it was an absolute delightful save from the goalkeeper. I don't know how he managed to save that, but he did, and that was best save in the match by far and as you see here it was an absolute wonderful reaction save from the goalkeeper from very close range to deny uh, Charlie Austin from getting the goal in the game which would have seen a little bit of daylight between the two clubs if we did get that goal but 
we do have the last chance of the game. Matt Phillips plays a good ball up and comes to Charlie Austin, who depossesses Collins at the back. He has a very good chance. He goes for the chip, and it was a wonderful save from the goalkeeper to deny Charlie Austin from getting a goal in the game. But unfortunately, Charlie Austin doesn't get a goal. We do get the corner, but nothing comes off from the corner, and we do end up winning this game 1-0, and we do proceed in the cup. The cup isn't a it's not something that I really want to win. I think there's too many games in the championship and if we get knocked out of the cup, I'm really not going to be bothered. So that's why I'm going to be putting out my weakest side in the cup. Ryan Gold does have a good chance here, but it was a good save from the goalkeeper and that's how the game finished, as you see there. But like I was saying, the cup's no big event for me. I'm not wanting to win it. So mainly, if we, don't, if we get knocked out, I'm not going to be bothered one little bit. Uh, so basically, if we do get knocked out, I'm not going to be bothered, and that's why I'm not going to be playing my strongest lineup. But Callum Chambers does get a very good rating in this match. He gets an 8.2 rating. I don't believe it was man of the match because I believe Northampton's goalkeeper did get man of the match. Actually, Callum Chambers did get man of the match, but their goalkeeper also did come very, very close to getting the same rating. But we're going to have a game up against our former player, DJ Campbell. He used to play for QPR, but we did sell him on to... Blackburn Rovers and Blackburn Rovers is the team that we're going to be playing now but we're playing them away so it's not going to be the easiest game for us but we're going to be playing in our red and black kit up against their blue and white kit it's not going to be the easiest game and um, Bailiff Austin Bailiff is the referee there. I don't know why I'm saying he's a referee. But anyway, Older Lucy and Remy is going to be leading the starting lineup for us. Um, and it's pretty much our strongest lineup that we can possibly put out. Asua Cotter does have a good chance here to put us 1 0 up. He comes inside, has a good or plays a good shot, uh, plays a ball through to Frowlin. And Frowlin has a good shot, but it was a good save from Paul Robinson in the Blackburn Rovers net there. But Older Lucy plays a lovely ball over the top to Townsend. Townsend does very well to get to that one. Puts a lovely ball in the box. It comes to Loic Remy and or Older Lucy, sorry. And Older Lucy puts the ball in the back in the 45th minute and what a goal it was from Odalusi and that is the reason why Odalusi is playing instead of Charlie Austin because he's there he's always there even though they're not the best of finishes but he's always there putting the ball in the back of the net and that is the most important thing for us and as you see that Odalusi does get a very very good goal there he, he gets to the ball before Paul Robinson and gets a good contact on it. Uh, we do have a very good chance here to make it 2-0. Uh, Lloyd Kramer gets through. We play the ball over the top to Oda Lucy. Oda Lucy has first time control and it was an absolute delightful save from Paul Robinson to deny Oda Lucy from getting his second goal of the game and putting us 2-0 up up against Blackburn Rovers but Blackburn were going to be coming on the attack after this and we're going to have to play pretty well especially in defence if we want to keep the scoreline at 1-0 and keep a clean sheet for us so we're up against the wall I must admit but Joey Barton does put a good ball in the box it comes to Odelusi. Odelusi gets good contact on it but unfortunately gets too much contact on it and the ball does fly over the net uh, for a goal kick there so not the best but still the sec they make a substitution, but from the resulting corner, a sewer cop puts a lovely one in the box. It comes to Odalusi. Odalusi has a good shot, or a good header, I should say. It does get deflected out for another corner. From this corner, a sewer cotter does put the ball in the box. It comes to Odalusi once again, and Odalusi is there to put his head on it. And what a finish it was from Odalusi, putting it past Paul Robinson. And Paul Robinson this time had no chance whatsoever to deny Odalusi. And Odalusi this time does not fail to get his second goal of the game up against Blackburn. And now we can sit back in our seats and relax that we are now 2 0 up instead of being up against the Kosh at 1 0 because anything can happen at 1 0. And we do go ahead and make it 3 0 with Junior Hoylet. There's a load of ball through to Luke Remy. Luke Remy plays a wonderful ball back to Chor Hoylet. Hoylet first time fires it into the back of the net in the 72nd minute. And that was it. 3-0 up, up against Blackburn. A perfect, perfect result for us there, especially when we thought it was going to be a very difficult game. DJ Campbell did not even threaten us one little bit in this game. And DJ Campbell, I didn't even notice him playing in this game, to be honest. He did get substituted off uh, because he was playing so bad. But that's how the game finished. Odalusi gets two and Hoylet gets one. As you see there, uh, in the fourth minute, Fowlin does miss a good chance. But we end up winning 3-0 and take the three points back to Loftus Road. So we've also hit 300 videos now. So this is our 301st video. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time on whatever episode it might be. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you.